In this exercise, we'll be designing an excavation pit for removing three different types of contaminants. For the sake of simplicity, we'll start by renaming three columns of iData within the RockWorks Samples folder to A, B, and C. This is accomplished by selecting the iData Types Table option and changing the column name fields. So now we can pretend that A, B, and C are the three different types of contaminants that must be remediated. We always like to start out by plotting histograms to know the data, so select the iData Histogram option and plot contaminant A. This shows anomalous outliers above 50, so we'll pretend that 50 ppm is the maximum contaminant level or MCL for contaminant A. Next, click on the Playlist button within the Histogram menu and enter Histogram A for the item title. This step is now part of the playlist that can be used to automate the process if the data changes or if you want to apply it to other projects. Repeat these steps for contaminants B and C to create a playlist that can be used to regenerate all three histograms with a single click. Select the iData Solid Program and set the model name to A.RWMod and select the A iData Track. This will generate a numerical block model and a voxel diagram representing contaminant A. As with the histograms, add this step to the playlist and repeat the process for contaminants B and C. Next, we'll convert the geochemical models to Boolean models composed of ones and zeros based on the MCL cutoffs by selecting the Solid to Boolean program from the ModOps Solid Logic menu. Set the name for the input file, which in this case is the a.rwmod geochem file, and then set the name for the Boolean output file, which in this case is a underscore boolean.rwmod. Next, set the minimum value to the MCL cutoff for this particular contaminant. In this case, that's 50 parts per million. The maximum value makes no sense here, so just set it to a ridiculously high value. Set the true value for nodes above the MCL to 1.0 and the false value for nodes below the MCL to 0. After making sure that it runs properly, add this step to the playlist. The output simply shows where contaminant A exceeds the MCL and merits remediation. Repeat this process for the other two contaminants. Be sure to set the Model B MCL to 3.55 and set the Model C MCL to 130. Now, let's select the Solid Math option from the ModOps Solid Math menu to add the three Boolean models to create a fourth model called Boolean D.RWMod. The voxels within this model, Boolean D, define regions where any of the three contaminants exceed their MCL thresholds. Now, let's dig this up by selecting the Extract via Surface Excavation option from the ModOps Volume menu. Enter the name for the pre-excavation ground surface, the model that is to be extracted, the pit that is to be created, and the model that defines the material that can be removed based on the thresholds and filters. Next, click on the Thresholds and Filters tab and set the lower threshold to 0.5 and the upper threshold to a ridiculously high number. As a starting point, we'll set the maximum slope to minus 60, which is probably not safe or legal, but let's do it anyway. This first attempt won't work because the pit extends beyond the project perimeter, so we can set the maximum depth to leave some of the contaminant unremediated, or we could disable the maximum depth filter and use a polygon to constrain the pit perimeter. This will maximize the extraction based on the maximum slope and the polygon perimeter. But some contaminant may still be unminable. Adding these steps to the playlist was not really necessary. We could have just sequentially run the 11 programs with the same result. 
But consider this. Let's pretend that we ran the 11 programs without a playlist and discovered after completion that the Y coordinate for well DH12 was 38.1 meters too far north. After dutifully editing the borehole database, we would need to find, configure, and run the 11 programs all over again. On the other hand, if we had saved the steps in a playlist, we could just click the Process Playlist button to regenerate everything.